What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Frank Warren. Frank Warren was on an exclusive interview, I believe, with IFL, and he was simply stating that um, and verifying that the Dillian White versus Tyson Fury fight will not happen right now, at least. That's not going to be his targeted goal. That's not his goal. Um, there are going to be other opponents in mind, not Dillian White. Okay. And in fact, he didn't, he wasn't really even aware of the ESPN deal that Dillian White had. Okay. So again, he's not a target for Tyson Fury. I think they're going to do some tune-ups because Tyson, because Dillian White is not a tune-up. You know what I mean? That would be a fight that will challenge Tyson Fury because you got a guy that likes to work. You know what I mean? He went, um, Tyson Fury went uh, and got in the ring with, what is it, um, Chisora twice, you know, but then you're dealing with Dillian White, which has a, which has a kind of a similar style because he, you know, I think he's more polished than Chisora, obviously, but, um, you know, Chisora and Tyson Fury went to war, you know, so... I would like to see that fight. That's no tune-up fight, and I think that's going to be the fight that eventually will be one of the builds up, build-up fights. Because, um, like I said, stated yesterday, guys, Dillian White signs a deal with ESPN. Okay, they want to showcase him first, like they're showcasing Joshua in America. You know, people are not stupid. It's a business move. Okay, you don't want to put you in there with just this hard fight. Like, look at Rocky Fielding. Rocky Fielding wasn't a hard fight you know what i mean and you can tell it wasn't a hard fight look how it ended it ended like three rounds or something like that it was a short night for rocky fielding but he was a soft touch you know so these guys to get these big deals you know you put them in with a soft touch to showcase this guy to show his skills get him in there with a fighter that allows him to show his skills that's what they're going to do with tyson fury and that's what they're going to do with dillian white okay so eventually these guys will fight each other being on the same platform you know, that looks uh, more realistic to me, you know, but Frank Warren, it was, uh, you know, simply stating that, no, he won't be next. So, you know, a lot of people are trying to boost that fight up, but that these fights take time. Some of these fights marinate and for, and for different reasons. And I just explained to you why. So, um, but Frank Warren is just, you know, just was telling the ins and outs of the deal uh, concerning Tyson Fury. Um, but he will be showcased and he will be promoted right and marketed in the right way, you know, to get him more involved and more familiar with the American public. For those who don't know him already, you know, the guy that climbed up off the canvas to win a 12 round decision in most eyes of many people. So, um but, you know, he returns with a mega deal, you know, and they're going to build him to be a star. So that sounds good to me. You guys tell me what you think about Frank Warren's comments. Is that will that fight happen? Is that fight brewing? Right. Or is he just simply trying to uh, avoid or, or are they simply trying to avoid Dillian? I mean, uh, yeah, Dillian White. So you guys tell me what you think. Leave the comments below. You guys been counterpunched. Peace.